This Friday, runners from all over Israel and the world will come to Jerusalem to compete in the Jerusalem Marathon. Held every year, the Jerusalem Marathon follows a route taking in Israel's parliament building, the Knesset, Jerusalem's famous old city, and the Mount Scopus campus home to Hebrew University. There will be plenty of national flags of Israel flying, but the city is currently decked out with another flag that is easy to mistake for the Israeli one, and that's the flag of Jerusalem. The flag of Jerusalem is based on the national flag of Israel, with two horizontal blue stripes running across a white background. Generally the same shade of blue as the national flag is used, although sometimes you'll see different versions with a more aqua color tint. As far as I know, the exact shade of blue used isn't defined or standardized, although personally, I think that the darker blue of the national flag looks a lot better. Speaking of the national flag of Israel, I'll try to cover the interesting history of Israel's national flag in another video and how we ended up with the state symbol we have today. Jerusalem is actually only one of several cities in Israel with its very own municipal flag, while other cities such as Tel Aviv and Haifa also have their own municipal standards, Jerusalem's city flag is probably the best known and most iconic of those flown by Israeli cities. The flag of Tel Aviv is actually the flag of the joint municipality of Tel Aviv and Yafo. It consists of the lighthouse of the old port of Tel Aviv set against a green background, which in turn is set against the national flag. It was designed by Nahum Gutman. But anyway, let's get back to Jerusalem. The difference between the national flag and the Jerusalem flag is the symbol at the center. Israel's national flag is famously emblazoned with the Star of David, an important symbol in the Jewish faith. Jerusalem's flag has the Lion of Judah at its center. The lion is facing left, surrounded by olive branches and set against a background of the Western Wall, probably the most iconic site in the capital. The word Yerushalayim, which means Jerusalem in Hebrew, appears just above the emblem. The seal of Jerusalem was the winning design submitted by a team led by Eliyahu Koren, probably the most famous typographer and graphic designer in the history of the State of Israel. His team submitted the emblem to a public design contest initiated by Jerusalem's then mayor, Gershon Agron. The emblem was formally adopted in 1950, two years after the foundation of the state, although some sources say that the flag with the emblem at its center didn't become popular until after the Six Day War and the reunification of the city. The flag of Jerusalem can be seen flying every day alongside the national one, outside the Jerusalem Municipality Headquarters in Kikar Safra, which is Safra Square in English. For those interested in buying one as a keepsake, tourist stores on Ben Yehuda Street and around Shuk Mahane Yehuda sell them for usually about 20 shekels, which is a lot less than you'll find them available for on eBay. Around Jerusalem Day, Yom Yerushalayim, the municipality building is commonly adorned with an enormous vertical version of the flag, stretching several stories high. The municipal flag is accorded approximately the same treatment as the national flag in Israeli flag protocol. On Israel's National Day of Mourning for Fallen Soldiers and Victims of Terrorism, Yom Hazikaron, the national flag is flown at half-mast at all government buildings, as well as the standards of municipalities when they exist. I hope this video was informative. Now when you see Israel's national flag flying alongside the flag of Jerusalem, you'll know the difference. For more videos about Jerusalem and Israel, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and liking this video. Until next time.